Welcome to Christ the King Church, Shelby, North Carolina's Healing Center. Hi, I'm Melinda, Pastor Moore's daughter. Welcome to our broadcast. Relax and enjoy our teaching. Good morning, boys and girls. We only have one girl, Hannah. Um, our show today is about uh, a little boy who's confused about something. Have any of you ever heard this little song that says, This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine? You ever heard that song? Okay. That's what our show is about today. But uh, our little boy puppet, Huey, thinks that means an actual light, like a flashlight. He, and then the little girl, Frida, is going to teach him what it means. She's going to teach him that it means to let your light in your life shine for Jesus and to try to help people. So you guys listen up, and we'll get started in just a moment. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, Huey, I'm gonna let it Huey, take it easy. I'm just standing up for my faith. I'm gonna let my little light shine. Fine. How are you gonna do that? Well, you just push this little switch and the light comes on. Cute, Huey, cute. But really, how are you gonna let your light shine? Uh, that's the best I can do. I can't hold up my finger like the kids do. For obvious reasons, I have to use a flashlight. Do you think that's all there is to letting your light shine? Don't you know what the real meaning is? I have a feeling you're going to tell me. Scripture compares the life of the Christian to light. Christian's life should shine so non-Christians can see the gospel. But doesn't the Bible also say... Jesus is the light of the world? Is he the light or are we the light? Yes. Yes what? Jesus is the light that lives in us. So we become the light of the world. Our light is supposed to point others to him. So I don't need the flashlight? Not unless you're going into the dark. Which brings up another point. Oh dear. There are an awful lot of people shining their light. Where it's not needed. But I thought everyone needed to see the light. How could someone shine their light where it wasn't needed? It's kind of like you shining your flashlight here in the room. There's so much light already here, we can hardly see the beam from your flashlight. But if you were to shine it down there... Oh, yeah, it shows up much better down there. It's dark down there. Often Christians live like they should at church, where the light is already strong. But put them in a situation where they need to take a stand for Christ, and their light goes out. So you're saying it's easy to live like a Christian when other Christians are around, but it's harder at school or work when you're by yourself. Yes, and that's where the light's needed most. But what about the deep, dark, Jungles of the Amazon. Don't you think we need to take our lights there? Good point. There are a lot more Christians here than in most other countries. We need to be willing to take our light where it's needed most. But if we stay here, we need to keep our light shining all the time. You never know when you'll meet somebody who really needs Jesus' light. Boy, Huey, I think you've caught on. You seem to really understand this light business. Oh, yes. It's quite simple, actually. See, you just push this switch forward, and then... Oh, Huey! The... Wait, Frida. I'll light the way for you. Okay, guys. Do you like that one? Okay. About... How you let your light shine. It's about how you let your light shine before people instead of just shining a flashlight. So uh, remember that next time you have a chance to do something good for someone, okay? 
Okay, we'll see see you guys later. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, our website. Our Lord is building his kingdom. Join us in helping our Lord harvesting souls for his kingdom. Thank you for watching Christ the King Church, Shelby, North Carolina's Healing Center. Visit our website, www.christthekingshelby.org, and check us out on Facebook and YouTube.